All right, here go my bait tank. Every good catfish in should have their own bait tank at home. She ain't sexy, but she definitely get the job done, man. <laughs> what kind of stock tank I got. In case y'all want to get the same setup. All right, let me show y'all my filter setup. Show y'all how everything is ran. We got a little cascade canister filter. A little air pump down there running four sponge filters in there. Here got a little sponge filter though. Show y'all what one looks like. I got four of them in there right now. These things is amazing, man. If you got a bait tank, get you some of these and toss them in there too. Yeah, man, another important thing is make sure y'all got some activated carbon in y'all filter system. That's important. This stuff keep the ammonia out the water. Ammonia kill fish, man, so that's, that's all bad. Make sure you got some activated carbon in there. Yeah, another one of my keys is to keep my bait nice and lively. I use the G-Juice. It really work, man. It keep the fish alive, keep them healthy, keep them real lively. Make sure y'all get some of this and try it out, man. Get yourself a light for your bait tank, too. Even if the lights is on in the room and this light is off, you can't see nothing in there. So get yourself a light, man. That's my light setup. Came with this cool little remote with it, too. Change colors. All that little cool stuff yeah another thing is if you got a deep stock tank like mine's you want to get yourself a a net with a long handle and a big scoop on it because man these these bait fish they like to run from you as soon as you put the net in there if you got a little net it's gonna you're gonna be in there all day trying to get the bait fish out yeah you want to make sure you get yourself a lid too this stock tank didn't come with a lid, so I just did a do it yourself. I'll show y'all how I made it. It's just a, a pond netting, and I got to some elastic around there, all the way around it, just to keep it from coming undone so it can't pop off. Yeah, it's just elastic. I could take it all off. See the elastic band? It's like a rubber elastic rubber band. I just weaved it through the net in a circle, tightened it up. It stay on there pretty good. I ain't had no fish jump out. So yeah, that's my lid set up. Yeah, it's a lot of good reasons why y'all should have a bait tank at the crib. You know, one of the reasons I got one is, you know, mainly for the convenience. I ain't gotta go out and catch bait every time I wanna go fishing. Another reason why I keep a bait tank at the crib is I like to use live bait. That's one of the best baits to use when catfishing. So make sure you get you a bait tank. Go out and catch you some live bait. I usually just take whatever I need. When I'm done, whatever I don't use, I bring back and I throw it right back into the bait tank. So next time I'm ready to go fishing again, it's right there waiting for you ready. You want to learn how to be a good catfisherman? And you need to learn how to use live bait. In my opinion, live bait is the best catfishing bait. Especially if you flathead catfishing. Flathead catfish, they love live bait, man. You know, it's the most natural. It's got the most natural presentation. That's why I say live bait to a catfish is like candy. Right now I got some bluegill in there, some green sunfish, and some bullhead catfish. And bullhead catfish, I'm convinced that's the best flathead bait out there right now. So if y'all going flathead fishing, make sure y'all get y'all some bullhead catfish for bait. I got some little food over here. A little Purina fish food. I'll give them some of this every now and then. I wouldn't recommend this, but but I like mine to be real lively, so I like feeding the bluegill a little bit of fish food. But yeah, man, I hope this video was helpful, and I hope y'all learned something that'll help y'all catch some bigger catfish. 
At least get yourself a bait tank, man. Make it easy on yourself. That way when you wanna go catfishing, you ain't gotta go out and catch bait all the time. But anyways, man, thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all subscribe. And please like this video for more.